for communication. Is anybody listening? You can reach me at jim at simplifyicer.com or visit our website here and uh, you can reach me through the contact there. The word communication has a definition and the definition involves sending a message and having the sender ensure that the message has been received and understood the way the sender intended. You've all heard thousands of conversations around the water cooler where someone is saying, did you see that email from John or the note from Mary? What did that mean? So it's important that you understand, first of all, that the, the act of sending an email is not communicating. Thousands of ways to communicate, but the important thing is to place enough emphasis on communication that you take the time and spend the energy necessary to perform or carry out effective communications. I used to show a video in college when I was teaching business students and one of the lines in the video was this, communication is a synonym for life. And I can tell you thousands and thousands of issues, arguments, conflicts could have been avoided if people had taken the proper care when putting together a communication. Think of how many communications you've seen that were hard to understand. And of course, if you have to act on a communication, that makes it even more imperative that you take the time and effort necessary to do it well. Every single management class that I taught, I would start out with asking people what were their top three issues at work. Invariably, and I can say literally without exception, communication was in the top three issues at work every single time I asked that question. It's not getting any easier. People are bombarded with messages every day. Uh, every class I teach now, lead auditors, auditors, and so on, I always ask the question, how many of you have two cell phones? Uh, it started out two or three years ago, somewhere between 30 and 60% had two cell phones. Now it's always over 60%. I just did a class three weeks ago where every single person in the class, there were 12 people, every single person had two cell phones. So as if communication or as if reaching people weren't hard enough anyway, now that they have those distractions, not to mention distractions at work, the work environment, personal issues that they have to deal with and so on, it's getting tougher and tougher to break through all the noise that people are surrounded with these days. So take the time, think of your message carefully, keep it as short as possible, <clears throat> You can always use Aristotle's rule of three and break your communication into three pieces. Keep trying things, but never give up on communicating. Thanks very much. I'm Jim Moran. Be sure to stop over at our website, uh, take a look at the platform that we offer, and by all means, sign up for a demonstration just to see if it might be a good fit for you. The platform is designed to enhance communication in every organization. It's designed to help people find documents much more easily, manage documents much more easily, uh, simplifies internal audits, and of course the crown jewel of the platform is the automated non-conformance management system. Keep your eye out for the next video, Process versus Procedure. The battle continues. Bye for now.